Welcome everyone to the third of the November 2010 Celestial Timings Audios. This one is featuring the heliacal rise of Venus, beginning a new 584-day cycle that will be exploring and integrating the Scorpio archetype into the collective psyche of humanity for the feminine principle. This begins on November 4th. It will end on June 5th, 2012. So that's the 584-day range. And one of the features that I did not mention in the written version of the Celestial Timings is that this will also include a Venus transit over the face of the Sun. It is the second in two. The first one was no um, happened at June uh, 7th, I guess, June 7th of 2004. And then eight years later, the um, second one happens in 2012. And these Venus transits usually do happen in pairs. Um, and they don't happen that often. There is an article that I wrote that's on the Celestial Timings website. It's called The Venus Transit Over the Sun 2012. And it gives the table of the last time we had a Venus transit in this area of the sky um, happened June 6, 1761 was the first transit and then uh, June 3rd, 1769 was the second transit The um, and then on June 8th, 2004 was the first, well June 7th in, um, in the U.S. and, and then June 5th, um, 2012. Some of these are um, based on the, the dates that are given are based on uh, Greenwich time. Uh, so, this is a rare event, the whole point being it was 243 years since the last time the Venus transit happened in this area of the sky, although there was one in 1874 and another one in 1882, but those happened in December, so they were in the opposite part of the sky. And what's interesting is they're happening near the galactic edge, this, these, the, this pair that we're experiencing um, between the horns of the bull. Um, the constellation of the bull and um, that is part of the area of the sky that has let ancient cultures know that it was a turning of the age when they would see a crescent moon show up there near the spring equinox they knew that it was the turning of an age um, and so we now have the Venus transit showing up at that particular part of the sky so I will be sharing a lot more about this particular Venus transit as it is an extremely important in a collective sense one of the things that has happened in the past um, during Venus transits is that it has been an acceleration of consciousness and awareness. In the 1700s, when the Venus transits were happening, the um, scientific community got together and measured the Venus cycle from different places on the Earth and then combined their measurements and were able to determine the distance of Venus from the Earth. Um, and so uh, so that was the first time that there was an actual scientific collaboration between countries and, and peoples and that kind of thing. Um, so that's one example of how that can, um, how that Venus transit has been something that's um, uh, accelerated uh, the, the um the evolution of humanity. Um, and it's also just representative of the return of the Divine Feminine into her strength and power, particularly as she begins the cycle in Scorpio. So there will be a lot more that I share about this in the upcoming Celestial Timings. We'll be tracking the whole entire cycle um, through each month. And um, anybody who is turning a multiple of eight, 16, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80, 88, and so on, that begins um, between November 4th of 2010 and June 5th of 2012 is in their Venus return, an eight-year Venus return. Uh, and um, so it's important. It's a personal cycle that's important. But it's because this is collectively so important um, for all of us to be tra uh, tracking this particular cycle um, is very worthwhile. So I will be offering Venus-specific um, readings at a special discounted rate. I'm, I'll be putting information about that on my website for anyone who would like to learn more about their own particular Venus cycle whether it's a morning star, an evening star, um, with the sun in the underworld, where um, you are in the Venus story, and how to work with this particular cycle in a ceremonial sense to become as conscious and um, so on with this particular cycle as we move towards the June 2012 date when Venus will make its um, next transit over the sun. 
So look, stay tuned for more about this amazing Venus cycle.